Hello viewers. In this video, we are going to give you an impartial review when we are covering 5 best iPhone alternatives in the market, which are the best for you considering some unavoidable factors that you might miss out without watching this video. Here, we are trying to help you out to find the best from a plenty of irrelevant products. If you want more information and updated pricing of the products mentioned in the video be sure to check the links in the description below. So, let's get started. Number 1. Our overall best for the money pick is Google Pixel 5 phone. First up, it had to, of course, be Google's response to the iPhone, the Pixel 5. Ever since its first installment in 2016, the Pixel line of phones attempted to capture the tight synergy between software and hardware Apple is famous for, whilst also being the bastion of the latest Android features. With the Pixel 5, Google's strategy changed. For the previous four flagship Pixels, Google positioned their devices as full-on premium phones with premium price tags. With the Pixel 5, Google changed its pricing strategy and offered its latest flagship at $699. Positioning itself to compete with the Samsung S20 FE, a phone that cut its price with a plastic construction, the Pixel cuts down with a mid-range Snapdragon 765G. But the great, clean Google software experience keeps this phone fast and snappy. Although, by hardware largely unchanged from the Pixel 2, the camera is still brilliant as ever with Google's fantastic image processing. Overall, the Pixel 5 is perfect for iPhone users who love a great and reliable camera and a clean, stock Android software experience. Number 2. Our second best pick is Google Pixel 4a with 5G phone. The latest generation of the iPhone SE tips itself as the best deal for a budget phone with premium features. However, if you're strapped for cash and want a solid, flagship-level experience, we think the Pixel 4a with 5G is a much better deal than Apple's recycled iPhone 8. What we love most about the Pixel 4a with 5G is that beautiful, large OLED display. Put it side-by-side side with the iPhone SE and its LCD Retina display, and the difference is night and day. Using Google's new Dark Mode feature is breathtaking, with the deep blacks making the UI look fantastic. Watching videos and movies on this phone is brilliant with the stunning contrast an OLED panel affords. Powered by the same Snapdragon 735G as the Pixel 5, the 4 of 5G is a little slower than phones like the Samsung S21 or even the iPhone SE with its blistering fast A13 Bionic, but we think you'd appreciate the better display on the Pixel than the sub 1080p LCD panel in Apple's budget phone. Number 3. Our third best pick is OnePlus 8T phone. OnePlus are famous for their insane value phones, with their first few devices having been marketed with the moniker, the flagship killer. OnePlus continue that trend of flagship specs for mid-range prices with the OnePlus 8T, offering itself as a much more compelling deal than the iPhone 12 mini or the iPhone 11. We love the display on this phone, it's a big and bright 6.55-inch AMOLED display. The display technology in this brings vibrant colors and deep blacks, great for dark mode Android and watching HDR movies. With a peak brightness of 1100 nits, HDR movies pop, and you can comfortably view the phone's screen outdoors even in direct sunlight. The 120Hz high refresh mode is a great feature, allowing for a brilliant level of smoothness. You'll love whizzing around Android 11 with this phone, placing it heaps ahead of the iPhone 12 mini stuck at a measly 60Hz, considering the iPhone 11. Its sub 1080p LCD display is pure garbage when compared with this full HD AMOLED panel. The OnePlus 8T is a fantastic value offering for anyone looking for a big and beautiful multimedia powerhouse. Camera nerds may prefer the Pixel 5 for its stellar camera, but for every other aspect of this phone, it destroys the similarly priced iOS competition. Number 4. Our fourth best pick is Samsung Galaxy S21 phone. Samsung's latest entry in the Galaxy flagship series makes some cutbacks that angered longtime Samsung fans, but for anyone looking to move from iOS, Samsung has made a fantastic Apple user-friendly premium phone. 
The main selling point of this device is its bright and beautiful 6.2-inch 20,9 AMOLED display. With HDR10 Plus support and with an insane peak brightness of 1,300 nits, movies, TV shows, and photos will look stunning on this phone. This year, Samsung dropped the maximum resolution of the display from 1440p to 1080p. Whilst this is a technical downgrade, last year, Samsung limited the 120Hz high refresh rate mode to 1080p, and we think you're going to notice the high refresh rate way more than the higher resolutions. The high refresh rate mode is where the Samsung phones break away from Apple's latest phones, offering ultra-smooth graphics that makes whizzing around Android super fun whilst games look fantastic also. Featuring a great camera and a fantastic display, the S21 is a great choice for any iPhone users looking for a powerful multimedia device. HDR movies look fantastic, and for most people, that'd be the best screen in their home. The Samsung S21 is a perfect substitute for the iPhone 12. Number 5. Last but not the least, our fifth best pick is Samsung Galaxy S20 FE phone. Here's another phone that crushes the value-orientated iPhone 11 and iPhone 12 mini the Samsung S20 FE. Released as a cut-down, light, version of the immensely popular Galaxy S20 released in early 2020. Half a year on, it received a price cut and slots in a great value bracket to compete with the mid-range Apple offerings with some impressive specs. Samsung's AMOLED displays are the best in the business, and that's no different for the S20 FE. The phone drops the max resolution of the S20 down from 1440p to 1080p, but we think the trade-off is worth it as we'd expect users to want to use the 120Hz high refresh mode instead. This makes whizzing around Samsung's One UI an absolute dream. The AMOLED panel is bright as ever, with great color reproduction and super deep blacks, HDR content looks as good as ever here. A plus over the standard S20 for some, Gone is the slightly curved edges of the display for an entirely flat front. It looks less impressive, but it's certainly a plus on the usability front. The cameras on the back of this phone are excellent too, with Samsung's classic great photography being enough to woo over some diehard Apple fans. The Samsung Galaxy S20 Fan Edition has three rear cameras, with 12MP f/1. 8 main, 12MP f/2.2 ultra wide and 8MP f-2. For telephoto cameras. The large sensor on the main shooter lets in a lot of light, resulting in bright and colorful pictures. The Samsung S20 FE is a perfect way to get flagship-level performance at mid-range prices. So, grab this while you can. Be sure to check the links in the description below. That's all for this review. Feel free to share your feedback. Like, comment and share our video, do subscribe and hit the bell icon to get more videos like this in future. Thanks for watching.